Welcome back guys, this is Del, and we are back in Terra Firmacraft. Beautiful day here in Terra Firmacraft. I uh, need to feed the animals. I've been down doing some mining, I got myself a scythe, a couple of the tools, and I read some amazing comments. So, here's what we're going to do for the moment. I'm going to start working on one of the comments that, <laughs> really good comment, made perfect sense. Um, actually, for a second that was weird, it looked like it was ripe. Moving some of these barrels down into the pit. Uh, so I'm going to try something new, and I'm not going to promise that I'm going to be amazing at it because, well, <laughs> we've already figured out I have a blonde streak. By the way, I, I tend to forget things or get things mixed up on a regular basis that I've done six million times before. But... I want to try to give you guys credit for your comments. I, I'm, my channel is not exactly huge, so it's not a terribly difficult thing to do as long as I pull it up on the side and remember. Oh yeah, that's a good thing to do. So, um, Zelator had the idea of bringing the water barrels down. Great idea. You are right about that. I actually, although I probably should close a milk barrel up there. What do you guys think? You know, considering if it rains, that could be bad. All right, so we'll put these two right here for water. So I don't have to constantly go get it. Um, on the anvil topic you brought up, and Kelsey agreed with you on, you are 100% correct. There's no way I can carry an anvil with me. And as I already have, well, as I think I can work most of the stuff that I want to do here, um, mainly just get it into bars, get the tools I need, and then head south. Because my goal is to get to zero, zero, and that's going to take a long time long time and the longer we sit around here mining and building and etc etc I might as well set up a permanent camp that's not the goal so definitely an idea there Kelsey awesome I like the way it looks anyway um I just need to have enough stuff to actually cook in this many but at least two if they light off of one so Kelsey told me that if I put these in a checkerboard pattern like this if I light one they'll all go up in flames which makes sense because fire does spread to what's around it very cool idea um and Larson, I had, I had so many opportunities to come up with bituminous coal, and I actually was of the impression it didn't function. I don't know why I thought that. So at the moment, wait, I have a shovel in here. Why not use my tools that I've made? Whoa, what a concept. At the moment, this is what we got. We got some standard charcoal, which, yeah, a little time consuming to make, and yes, I only got four pieces because I somehow murdered the rest of my little four two by two. Oh well. When I see the bituminous coal, I will make sure I make a note of that because I actually wasn't uh, comprehending that it worked for um, forges. So awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Where were we at here? Uh, I went ahead and I think doo -ba -doo, we still have to feed the poor animals. They're sitting up there getting angry at us. When as far as I think I'm going to go this way, I went in here and it still says very large sample of tetrahedrite, but I think it's referring to stuff that's below it because I don't see anything here and I'm coming across a ton of dirt and gravel if I dig one more up. So I think we're going to head in this direction and then we're going to start a layer below this. Um, not sure what I'm going to do about this stuff in this, the floor. Maybe just leave it there. I think there's only right here where it's actually on it. So we could leave those go and just have those supports come up from those specific ones and dig a big hole. You get the general idea here. As much tetrahedrite as we can get. Yep, yep, that's the goal. All right, so, so much work to do, so much time to take, so little time to actually do it in. I don't want to sit here and bore you guys while I, I do all that stuff. Uh, so, yeah, I will pull you guys back in when I made it a little bit farther on that insanity. Oh my goodness. Yay! Okay, so I have done a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of work to the point where I broke that brand new beautiful pickaxe. But for that, hello, let's relight some torches. For that, we have dug out. Uh, let's go up first. I think I pretty much ran the tetrahedrite out on this level. Uh, we got some more down there. This looks terrible. Let's do that. Uh, we got some more down there that we are just, I'm just taking it out of the ceiling. I'm not worried about it. 
And now we've got all the way through here. And I think by the looks of it, as I'm not seeing a whole lot here, we've almost hit our end over here. And then we'll just go down another level. So we're getting there. Whew, so much work. Fed the cows. And I brought you guys in, even though it's nighttime. I'm not going to worry about that. Well, uh, I brought you guys in to try this out. This looks like such an awesome idea. So uh, let's go stand not where I'm going to have to get too close to anything. Drop a torch on it. Are we going to have our little effect? Oh, that's so awesome. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so cool. So we've got uh, two completely full, um, what are they called? Jugs, not jugs, but containers of tetrahedrite pour. One that is three quarters full plus some two that I picked up off the ground. We've got four extra of the ceramic molds, a, uh, four, four balls, I think. I think there's four balls in there four balls in there because yeah we're not getting any back i get four per so no big deal i guess i just get angry and throw it on the ground when i'm not when i'm done with it or you know recyclable and then i also have hmm i think that's it so we got a whole bunch of stuff in there it's nighttime again this is looking pretty sad and empty but i don't have any bowls left anyway i think oh yeah we're gonna put some plums in this little mix here can I do double plum? We'll see when I have bowls. I think it's time to hit the sack. Oh, I also brought these down to stack up here. Where did I put those? Close the door. Wrong way. Shift. All right, that's looking pretty awesome. We are making progress. Very, very slowly, but we're making progress. We'll get there. Okay. Is it done? It's done. Let's go check this out. I'm always afraid to do that. Uh, we have 960 units. Let's fill you up the rest of the way. Works out nicely. Fill you up. Then we're going to have to get our new ones out while those are drying. Um, where's the new ones? One. Move that. Two. Three. No, that's not what I was looking for, but I can fill that up too, or as well. And that, and those are all bowls. Those are two more things of copper. So much copper. I'm glad I made these extra ones. I'm afraid it would solidify on me before I got it all done. So we made so much. I like it. I'm glad we moved down here. I feel very productive. Kind of wish that would just zoom... But this is this this version, this mod is not about the zoom zoom, get it done fast, automate it. It is about the little by little work your way up to having everything you possibly need. That is ultimately exactly what this mod is about. Alright. Now no, let go. New pickaxe, we have no sticks. That's okay. You are still liquid. Oh my goodness, so much liquid. Let's grab our bowls. Wow, so much junk again. Get rid of that. And... Okay, all we have left is the tetrahedrite that's sitting in those. I need to go get more wood again. My goodness, and more clay. I just ran myself out. Doop -do, so much stone we're going to be leaving behind. You know, I start out the, the episode without the helm, because I think, well, I think it looks more like me without the helm. And then I get into the episode and forget to put it on. All right, have we dried? Aha, we are. Very hot, but at least we're able to be taking you out of the molds. Orange. You're still liquid. Liquid and liquid. All right. There it is. One. Slowly, 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 slowly. Two. doop -a doo And three. So I have a new nephew as of yesterday. How awesome is that? It is the first boy on that side of the family. Talk about crazy. Doop, there we go. The whole family is very, very excited about this. I think I'm getting hungry, but we need to finish this. No! It solidified. What about these? I was worried about that. 
It has not solidified yet. Leaving it there was a good idea. Even if it wasn't completely intentional for that reason. Alright, where's our food? We're going to eat some plums. Because I don't want to walk away from where we're at. I need more fruit anyway. There we go. Not dying of hunger anymore. Um, solidified. Where'd the other one go? Solidified. Nope. Liquid. Okay. Liquid. Liquid, 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 liquid. Darn it. All just not ready yet. Any day now before it all solidifies? Orange. Okay. Whoops. Take you out. And you out. So many copper bars. So very happy about this. Oh, hey, look at that. Shift right click it in. See, sometimes I figure this stuff out on my own. It's cooling off. Not enough of it yet. You're still liquid, 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 orange. Which means I can do that now. Oh, hi. <laughs> wow, I did that. You guys can all laugh at me. I'm okay with that. I got so anxious to get these out that I stopped at mid pour. All still br br brilliant liquid. Can combine those. That's still warm, faint red. Hot, dark red, not coming out yet. Whew. We are still liquid. Come on. There we go. Not what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. Any more? Liquid, 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 and still liquid. Ten more in this one. I can pour into nothing until they cool down. All right, so is it true, and how do you do it if it is, that if it is, um, the, do I just dunk it in water? I, I heard something about that, and I haven't investigated it yet, and I should, because it would make this process faster. All right, that's the end of that barrel. Are you still li liquefied? No, that one is also solidified. Solidified and solidified. That's okay. We got a whole lot done. Look at all that. That is so cool. These we can lay down. Let's go build our stack up. Shift. Any more? Red. Very hot. Hot. Hey, we can take these guys out of this. That cannot be taken out. All right. Okay, so the last one's a slide. Okay, so the last ingots are cool. Let's put them on our stack. Look at that. We're starting the third layer. How awesome. Uh yeah, the two plums thing. Not working. I put the bowls in here. Yep, that's okay. It's getting dark out. It is time to sleep, and I need to go back to the rest of real life. You know, the stuff that you enjoy but you want to get away from occasionally. Etc. Etc. <laughs> yep, you guys know how life is. Crazy and fun and amazing and oh so blessed. The sun is going down with a beautiful Terra Firma Craft sunset. And it is time for me to sign off to tell you guys I will see you in the next episode. If you guys did not notice, if you're interested at all in the closed beta for, uh, for Overwatch from Blizzard Entertainment, I am... Uh, starting a series on that. I have a tutorial up so far. Uh, the tutorial up, not mine. Um, if you've watched that, I'll be fixing the audio. I, I, uh, I have the audio about right in here, but not quite the same on the other one. So, yep. If you guys enjoyed this, leave a like. If you have comments, good, bad, ugly, well, okay, try to be nice. Uh, any suggestions, what you guys would like to see, leave those below. I absolutely love getting those, as you couldn't tell by the fact that I'm trying to call you guys out by name. If you don't want me to do that, you can say that too. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a great week.